It looks like it went into the Pentagon. So they are all watching it as it happens, and they looked at each other and just went, this is no longer an exercise. This is the real thing. Engine 108, we have a report of a plane crash somewhere in the area of the Pentagon. We're trying to get further. Um, so I'm waiting, and all of a sudden I hear what I thought was a sonic boom. And people were running out on the tops of buildings, looking towards the Pentagon. I didn't know what it was. So after 9-11 happened, um, we were contacted as a guild because we were affiliated with the army base there if we could do make donations of quilts. So um, it was, the intent was for those quilts to go to families who were affected, comfort quilts. And they didn't matter what size it was. It was like, let's just get this done as quickly as possible because I think within about three weeks, we got everything we could together and shipped it back to the Pentagon. One of the things about the quilts that came in after 9-11 was it was so gratifying for the people that were here, the survivors and the victims and the heroes, to see how America did not forget them and how they wanted to honor those people who were still alive. And so when we saw the quilts, it was just amazing with the outpouring of, you know, love and support of the people that were here. Uh, my wife is a quilter and so I know how hard quilting is and how hard it is to make a quilt. And to see the, the people that took the time and effort to spend and making a quilt for those people that were survivors, it just really connected us in a way that's uh, still today. And it reminds me to remember all the people that were here and all the people that have been killed and wounded and uh, devastated in Afghanistan and Iraq in these 20 years hence. I, I kind of equate a quilt with a hug. If I can't be there to hug you, I can send it through the love of the quilt that I make. It's like my hands do the quilt and you put the quilt around you. It's that extension of how I can reach you when you're further away. <laughs>